Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a video where we're going to start. This is a two part video by the way. We're going to start showing you how to use controlled folder access and explaining to you what that is. Controlled folder access is a new feature that is in the Fall Creators Update. So you need to be in the latest version of Windows 10 Fall Creators Update in order for this to work. It is an amazing feature for protection because from what we know and up to now, controlled folder access will probably prevent ransomware or viruses from tampering, modifying, or encrypting files that are in the protected folders. Now, by default, when you turn it on, the folders that are protected are the main Windows folders. That includes documents, uh, image, um, music, videos, it will protect your desktop. And in part two, we're going to show you how to add your personalized folders. We're also going to add, show you how to actually give permission to software. And that's the hardest part in the control folder access and probably um, needs to be tweaked and made a little better. But I think it's worth it to uh, learn a little more about control folder access. So how do you turn it on or off? Now that setting for control folder access is not in the settings panel. It's in the Windows Defender panel because it's part of Windows Defender's security. So on your taskbar on the bottom right, double click on or just click on the Windows Defender uh, icon. There you'll see your device is being protected, hopefully, and every little thing will be checkmarked with green. Go on the left side into Virus Threat and Protection or virus and threat protection. And there you'll go down and you will actually have um, virus and threat protection settings. Click there. And it's not super obvious, I have to say. They probably could have made this a little better and easier to access. And then when you go down, you will have controlled folder access. What you do, switch it on. It's gonna ask you for permission to have it switched on. You say yes. Once that is happening, you will have your protected folder. So like I said, by default, protected folders are documents, pictures, videos, music, desktop, and your favorites. And you're wondering why they are doubled. Well, they are doubled because of uh, the fact that they are public and there are um, your local folders. So they actually have the public and local folders in there that are protected. So these, by default, you cannot remove. They are the basic folders that are automatically done, and you can't remove the protection from them. Now, what's going to happen is every software you use that wants to access these folders will need to have a permission. And that's where, in part two, we're going to show you how it works. It's not um, the best because they have done it in a way that makes it a little complicated. But if you follow my instructions, you'll understand basically how to give access. And when will you know that a piece of software needs access? Very simple. When this is turned on, if a piece of software wants to either uh, modify a document in one of these folders, erase or um, you know save something, it's going to say it's incapable of doing it. That's because it needs permission for that. And the permission is given through the protected folders. So it's a great feature. I think it has a great future within Windows, especially if it works so well in protecting you from viruses and malware because it will prevent it. Because, you know, if you get a malware, well, malware will not be able to go and modify these folders because it doesn't have the permission to do so. so it's going to be interesting to see. So once again, to go back there, you need to go to your Def Windows Defender, Virus Threat Protection. Click Virus and Threat Protection Settings and go down and turn on Controlled Folder Access or off if you wish to turn it off. In part two, I'll show you how to give access to your software that might not have access to this, uh, to the folders. And also we'll show you how to, you know, add a personalized folder in here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.